Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back. Okay, so uh, I've got a lot of information that I'm going to cover in this video, and um, uh, it's going to probably be a little bit longer. I've been trying to keep my videos down to 10 minutes. Uh, when I watch YouTube videos, I get really bored really fast unless unless people get to the point. <laughs> it's just my personality. So I've been trying to keep my videos short. But sometimes there's just so many things that you have to say in order to help somebody achieve uh, what you're hoping to help them achieve. So um, <clears throat> we're going to get to some charts. I promise you that. I've already got the charts uh, queued up here we're going to talk about some short-term day trading today and I mean really short term on a scalping level uh, if you haven't checked out my previous two videos before uh, this video on YouTube I highly recommend that you go there you check those two videos out because the just they'll be the two that are time stamped before this because I I talk about how to do, trade off a 15 minute chart and then how to do some daily trading uh, and some swing trading but in this video we're going to specifically talk about some short term real short term day trading off of one minute charts okay so uh, before I do that though so just stick with me and we'll get to that before I do that though I, I, I want to talk about um, <clears throat> my floor trader room uh, on stock twits now uh, I, ever since this room started it started out small 300 people and it has grown uh, let's see if I can change this mic a little bit and it has grown and um, <clears throat> Uh, we're now at 4,400 people. Now, I started this room specifically to help people. Um, hopefully, my theory was if I help you become a better trader, you know, you're going to go over and you're going to buy my courses, right? <laughs> um, now, you might say, Steve, well, that's pretty selfish of you. You should just be helping people. Now, the reality is, is that, as you can see here, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. It's $5,000, okay? And the reason it's $5,000 is not because I'm a greedy person. It's just that I realized a long time ago that in order for me to give anybody any chance at becoming successful at trading, uh, I'm going to have to spend an incredible amount of time with them. You know, everybody's out there selling courses for $500, for $600, whatever. But I'm going to have to spend, so if I want to guarantee you that you're going to be successful, I have to spend, you know, at least two or three hours, two hours minimum a week or an hour minimum a week with you um, over like 10 weeks. And then I have to look at your charts and, and grade all your trades for about a year after that if I want to guarantee your success. So when I started this floor trader room, my goal was to, you know, through proof of concept, if you will, show you how to trade and then, you know, hopefully you'll go and you'll buy my course. And again, not because I'm being greedy, but I, I just don't think that there's any other way to trade. Okay, I think that um, even if you work on Wall Street, um, and you or you work at any big prop firm a big part of becoming a successful trader is working with a mentor not just for one day and not just buying a video or buying an indicator but by working with somebody for a year or six months or a year and um, you know that's what I set out to do and you know I tried to emulate what I learned when I was working in the you know the the five or six professional jobs that I worked in working at prop firms etc and I've been trying to emulate that but that has thrown up a challenge and I, I, again guys I warned you this is going to be a bit of a long video but it's really important you listen to these words because I'm telling you things that that if you are serious about becoming a trader not selling my course that you understand this concept whether it's me or whether it's somebody else it you know the chances of you making it on your own are slim to none 
okay it really is that difficult so in this room I try to go through my thought processes on what I'm doing try to give you guys how to build context and I try to uh, I tried to make it simple uh, as simple as possible with my new algo package okay now this is not a panacea I, I, I made this so that you can make enough money to buy this but again why am I dwelling on this because if you if you seriously want to learn to trade there's there you really need a mentor to walk you through how to do it and not just what they're doing but to teach you how to understand context and build context on your own okay so uh, I apologize it's really long but I, I promise you if you listen to my words right now you will you will make umpteen amounts of money again whether it's with me or whether it's with somebody else um, it doesn't matter okay so my challenge in this room was to uh, show you guys different contexts and how to adapt to those different market contexts and conditions um, <clears throat> but I wanted to do it in a way that you could also prop it along with me so I, I kind of stuck to nothing but day trade or it's nothing but swing trading and or short-term trading meaning that most of the trades would be one day two days five days up to 30 days depending on um, uh, how depending on the context so that kind of brings us up to date to where we are right now now uh, the current market environment is very very difficult for for swing trading or shorter term trading one to five days because there's just so mm, there's just we're, we're so devoid and there's so many things that are moving the market right now the china story impeachment uh the fed uh you know new qe uh old qe you know there's just there's just so many things that are are contextually making it very difficult to swing trade and you know my swing trading has been okay i mean listen i'm still up 90 percent this year in this room but that's not what i do in reality guys when 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 things change i change along with them and you know what do i change well i i change the assets that i'm trading yes but i also change my time frames and when the market becomes very uh very news driven you, you, trading a, a longer term time frame is it becomes more difficult uh, if you when I say longer term let me correct that a real long term time frame like holding for uh, a month or six or two months that works really well when the market is very news driven but <clears throat> um, if you're trying to trade for like two days to five days it becomes really difficult to trade news driven events right so um, or in a news driven market so what do, you, what do I do in the past when I when I'm when I'm in that type of news driven market well you can't have biases and if you've been in this room you've known I've had a bias for the last three months well, two months now, a, a cautious short bias on the markets because of the fundamental drivers of the manufacturing and non-manufacturing data. But in a news-driven market, that's extremely hard to trade, right? And um, what I will usually do in that situation is I will scale down and I will go to smaller time frames. Okay, so again, I'm getting way long here, but it's really important you listen to me so um, what I'm gonna do right now is kind of share with you a very very simple version of how to day trade now in my full course I teach it in much 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 more detailed um, uh, analysis of how to do this but I'm gonna try to dumb it down with you and show you how to day trade 
Now, the problem is that I, it's very difficult because I'm typing things into this room. I'm not actually sharing my screen. If you're following me in this room and you try to follow my day trades, you could get your ass handed to you very, very quickly. Because by the time I actually type something in, I'm going to be late to typing it. By the time I get out, I'm going to be late to doing that. And when you're doing very short-term trading, that you know, you guys are never going to match me. So I need you to kind of think for yourselves a little bit. I know you. I know those of you who have not bought my course. You know, I'm going to teach you kind of a very simplified version of what I do in my full coaching but again I, I want you to realize you know the chances of you doing it without taking a full mentoring course are going to be very very slim so you know just please keep that in mind so what I'm going to be doing in my floor trading room I'm going to be doing some more short-term day trading and um, I'm going to teach you kind of how I'm going to find those trades every day so that you can hopefully sort of follow along okay so let's get to the charts. But before I get to the charts, there's one other thing I want to talk about that's really key. Okay, so I was watching this, um, uh, some YouTube videos this morning, and it's kind of inspired me to uh, do this. Um, so I was watching this uh, YouTube video, Day Traders Episode 1, The Pros, and um, it's about a prop firm in Montreal called uh, Jitney Trading. Uh, I've known of them. I've never worked there, but I've heard good things about them. And they're, they're a legit deal. They're a legit prop firm. So I was watching it this morning, and it kind of inspired me to do this video. Um, and one of the things, and you can go through these videos, there's actually a little movie out on it, but you can go through these videos. One of the things that really kind of struck me is... Um, when I looked at most of their charts, what do you guys see? Or let me say that a better way. What don't you see? Right? And if you walk around and you watch this video, almost everybody in this prop firm is not using charts. Some of them are using charts. But what they're looking at is they're looking at domes, uh, which is a exemplified version of a level 2, but it's in the dome. And so they're trading off of domes, okay? Now, these are professional traders, uh, and they're good professional traders. And I want you to keep that in mind. You can go watch this video. And there's one other thing I really want you to um, uh, key off of in this video, and I've been preaching it in my room. If you go to this guy right here, it's a point in this video where this guy talks, and he says something really super important. This guy here. Now, this is one of the few guys that is using some charts, but um, listen to what he has to say. But going back to looking at what most of them are looking at, you can see this guy here, all domes, right? And um, they're watching, and it's really important that you understand this, this really key, key, key concept. Professional traders, what matters to professional traders are levels, okay? Price levels. Price levels and reactions at those levels are key. Okay? So when I'm, especially when I'm short-term trading, so when I am on a one-minute chart, I try not to have any bias whatsoever. Like, like forget about any fundamental bias. You show up and you accept what the market is giving you and you try to key off of key levels and reactions at key levels. Now, all those other people that are out there day trading with indicators and crap and blunt nonsense, they're, they're just on a slow route to death. Um, they're going to be fooled by randomness enough, but professional traders, whether I was a floor trader, whether I was a market maker, uh, all we care about are key levels in the market, number one, and how is price reacting around those key levels. That is what real traders do. Okay, I don't care what anybody else tells you, trend lines, patterns, all that shit, uh, indicators, it's, it's all nonsense. So what, I, what I've done is I've created my indicator, and my indicator's primary purpose in life is to 
alert you when you might be close to a key level that is going to become important and you need to pay attention. And that's really, really all my indicator does. It's saying, okay, this level that we're at right now is either a, an undervalued or an overvalued situation, and you need to be paying attention because this could be a level where price will have a reaction, and the reaction at that level is what you want to key off of. That's everything. Because what happens at that price reaction is going to predict where the market is going to go next. And in my full coaching, you will learn that through liquidity. You will learn that through understanding uh, the order flow properly. You will learn that through um, all the, uh, the processes I take you through during that three-month program. But right now, I'm going to kind of teach you kind of a... a, a, a a simplified version of how to use levels and you know how to make short-term trades okay so uh, here we're gonna finally 15 minutes in we're gonna finally get to the meat and potatoes of everything but it was really important that you understood everything that I just said in those prior 15 minutes so I apologize that this is this long but it's key that I do it okay so when you're day trading you are scalping and you're, you're what you're doing is you're accepting what the market is giving you and you are looking for those key levels to trade off of okay so um, I do have some indicators on my charts here that are going to make it easier for you. Again, this without taking my full course, uh, I've got to dumb it down and use some indicators. So on the charts here, you will see my indicator that I sell for five ninety nine ninety five on my 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 website. You can go back and buy that if you really want it. And whenever this turns yellow, it's telling me wake up because the market is getting to a level that is potentially significant. The other thing that you are going to um, uh, see on my charts is a VWAP uh, and that is in Thinkorswim. It's just part of the, uh, you can just go up to your tools and it's just a VWAP. And then I have volume here and you can use any volume you want. I have a custom volume package that I, I developed which is just relative volume. And it shows me, I don't want to see all volume. I just want to see the volume that is important. And then I have a volume profile on my uh, on it as well, too. Um, and I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to dumb this down. Now, for my students, you might say to me, Steve, what's all this stuff you got on your chart? Well, before I taught my students in my full coaching program, um, you know, to, to read the order flow like a floor trader, um, I used to use indicators and you know so this is like the dumb man's version it makes it easier to see a lot of things that you wouldn't see if you didn't go through my full coaching program okay so I just want to be clear on that even if my full coaching program students would like to add these indicators you can it will make your life easier you'll understand it better okay so that being said but it's not, again, I want to repeat, what I'm teaching you guys here is not a substitute for working with a mentor for six months or for a year, okay? It's not a substitute. It won't work, okay? Okay, so, oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, so um, when we're day trading, the very first thing that we want to do is not have any bias whatsoever, okay? We want to show up and let the market prove to us what 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 the market wants to do so what I'm basically looking for when I day trade is I'm looking for very obvious pictures okay I want to see a picture that's telling me one of three things and uh, the first thing that I want to see is I want to see a picture where either buyers or sellers are in control of that market and they're clearly in control of that market or I want to see a picture where buyers and sellers are matched. Okay. So what I want to see is I want to see a clear, decisive picture that I know if I engage in this market, I will have some type of edge to the short side, to the long side, or both non-directional and up and down. One of those two things. 
Okay, so one of those three things. So I, I want to see very I want to see clarity. Okay, so um, by putting a VWAP and by putting a two standard deviation on the VWAP, um, one of the things you can do is you can just look for that. Okay, and again, you might be are you teaching a pattern? No, I'm not teaching a pattern. I'm teaching you order flow. So what the VWAP would look like is the VWAP would look like that would be the VWAP. And then what you would have is you'd have the standard deviations following the VWAP. So that would be a very clear picture to me that um, sellers are in control of that market. Um, the opposite would be true. You'd have the VWAP doing something like that. And you would have the two standard deviations following it. Really important that the shape of those two standard deviations or I want to see a market that's doing that and has a very outlined uh, two standard deviations, okay? So when I'm day trading, what I want to do is look for these patterns. And, and again, my order flow students will understand that, but you're, they're just going to be a lot quicker at finding this than you are. If you take my full coaching, you'll find this a lot faster than just using the VWAP, but it's, it's a simplified version. So what I will look for is I'll scan through all my charts looking for that picture within the first uh, half an hour, like 40 minutes, something like that. So if I just go through some charts here and um, let me just go through some uh, some charts here real quickly on Friday, do I see that picture on anything? So here we have the BWAP scaling up right there and you can see that it is following it isn't it in other words the bwap's not going the, it's not going the other direction now my order flow students will recognize this as a fantastic trade okay and because they've learned how to read the order flow but what i will look at that is I'll say okay um, now again remember you have no bias whatsoever when you're day trading because it doesn't really it does matter the bigger pictures do matter. That's a very, very complex subject that I can't teach you guys right now. So for now, we're not going to care. And again, my order flow students will have a much better understanding of this. But we're not going to care what we're just going to accept. Is this a clear picture? So in this particular event, we say, yes, this is a very clear picture. And we want to be looking for longs on Apple. Okay, the real question now becomes what levels become important? Okay, and so a dumbed down version of my order flow is to use VWAP and to say, okay, do we have a very clear picture going on at this time of the day? And the answer is yes. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is say, well, where are we in relation to VWAP? Now, what is VWAP really? VWAP really, and my order still flow students will understand, is, is value, okay? And you always got to know where value is. And in this particular case, VWAP is, a again, a, a, a short-term version of what value is. And we want to be buying, when we have a clear picture to the upside, we want to be buying at value. So what we're looking for is a combination of potentially using my indicator and for those of you that bought the indicator you're going to look for a place where this goes yellow because it's going to represent undervalued okay so in this particular context looking at apple on this day what i would do is i would say okay have a nice clear picture the nice clear trend buyers are in control of that market i've got that going on right here and what I want to do is I want to find the value. Now, um, there were two places that value did occur. This was the first place where you want to be getting going long with value. But in this particular case, uh, it, it didn't work out very well. But we did get deeper value and deeper value again. Now, again... If you took my full coaching, you would understand why you needed deeper value in this situation, okay? But for now, if you would have taken a long off of this level or at VWAP, you would be a very good day trader and you would be fundamentally doing what you should be doing day trading, okay? So waiting for 
finding a clear picture, waiting for value and or uh, VWAP and or some level, which is really important. And I, I'm not going to get into that right now. OK, so um, that's what we're going to be looking for. OK, now let's look at some other things. AMD. We don't have a clear picture there. OK, nothing there. OK, AXP was not a bad situation. Um, so I may have looked for a trade off of AXP at this value level here. Uh, and I may have looked for a trade off of AXP at this value level. OK, I'm looking for clear pictures on Friday. Now, uh, here you go. This is a beautiful one. Cat. Cat took off to the races. And this would have been a very, very good trade when my when my signal signaled that on Friday. I probably may have even traded here and I would have traded here. OK, these are both value levels that uh, and I remember levels, levels are everything. So not only do I want to see my my indicator say to me, hey, Steve, wake up. We're coming to a level that's important. I want to see another level that was significant. And as you can see, there was a level here and there was a level here and the market did react off of both of those levels. OK. Let's continue here. I'm not, Here's another clear picture. Get to value. Off it goes. Right. I would have definitely tried a trade here and a trade here. OK, now here's a very good example of another type of a picture, isn't it? Right. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. Now, in this market, there are different levels that we can key off of. OK. So, for example, when I see this market going sideways here, what I want to look for is I want to look for when do I get to a potential key level that represents value. And you can see here the chart did light up in yellow when we got to this level, but there were no other levels other than this level right here that you could have really counted on. OK, so, um, you know, that may or may not have been a trade. You could have made some money on that. And then as we get down deeper, we still have that picture, don't we? Right. So finding this trade down here. Right. Around this level. And um, you just can't jump in when you need some confirmation on the chart. Right. You can't just jump in. Like if we look drill down here, let's say we were looking at that. You know, you can see here that when we get to this important level, there's there's really nothing right there. Right. We just keep going lower. So here's that here's that key level. And watch what happens when we get there. Yes, my my indicator is going to alert you to wake up. When we get to that level, there's no price reaction. Right. And remember, I showed you guys that picture of those guys watching those domes, watching these domes. That's what they're looking for. Right. They're watching those levels and they're watching how price is reacting at those levels. Now, you can actually pull up a dome uh, on Think or Swim if you want. Uh, I don't use them anymore because I, I can just see it in the in a candlestick. Right. I mean, I can I can see the reaction with price on a candlestick on a one minute candle. I don't really need a dome. I can see that there's no buyers there at all. It just ate that level. No buyers there ate that level. No buyers there. It just keeps going. No buyers. Still no buyers there. How do I know there's buyers there? Because I just it's the one minute candle just showed me there's buyers there. Right. So this now I might think about this in this context for a long. OK. There now I know there's buyers there. Right. I, they've showed up. I don't need to look at a dome. Right. It's right on the chart. Right. And there, remember that pattern I showed you on the video before this one? If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it where we're looking for buyers. So we're looking for that one, two, three, 
situation and right there I would have got triggered into that long if you haven't watched the video before this about how to trade off of a 15 minute chart that's a good trade in this context we are in an undervalued situation the market is telling us we're in an undervalued situation we're at a level that's significant and that would be a very very good trade and that's where I would have got long on this situation. Probably looking for a retest of the VWAP in this particular case as my target and or this level right up here. Again, remember level. Now, depending on how we reacted at that level, I would be very uh, conscious of that. And I might take off half of my money and or all of my money. Okay. So now we get to this level here, right there. Now, in all honesty, I get into an overvalued situation. I also have some resistance here. In all honesty, I'd probably close that trade. Okay? And there you have it. Okay? So, um, that is what... That's a very... This, what I've just done in this last 30 minutes is an extremely simplified, dumbed-down version of how to be a successful floor trader okay levels reactions at levels significance of levels and understanding the context of the day that is a very very simplified version of how floor traders made money day after day and how the best traders in the world that work for some of the top prop firms in the world make money day after day okay um, and you'll find this true no matter anything you know no real successful trader in this world cares about anything except for is this level important and do I get the feedback at this level that is important okay so there you guys have it that is a simplified version uh, of what I'm gonna be doing day trading in the room and the reason why I'm sharing it with you is because you're probably not going to be able to follow me right when I'm day trading and contextually in news driven markets you want to be day trading more you 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 want to be on the shortest time frame possible or you want to be on a very longer term time frame so I will be sharing as it says in this room watch X floor trader Steve Patterson as he selects day trades and swing trades now for the most part in my room I stuck to swing trades I'll try to give you guys some swing trades but the market is just it's it, it's too news driven right now and I want to be on shorter time frame charts so I apologize for you guys that won't be able to you know check the trades and, and engage in the trades but this whole room's concept was to prove proof of concept and that is that you know if you really want to be a successful trader there's a reason why I'm charging five thousand dollars for my course guys okay there's a reason why not because I'm being a jerk it's because I gotta spend so much time with you if I really want to make you a successful trader I gotta spend that time with you there's no shortcut to it there's nothing you're gonna learn in this room that's gonna make you a successful trader this little tool it's gonna to help you definitely it's gonna help you it's gonna be way better than doing anything else out there right but if you're really serious about becoming a successful trader you, you've got to spend time with me and time with me costs money right because I mean it just makes sense if I have to spend so much time with you you know not only teaching you but also looking at your trades for three six months to a year I've got to charge for that I mean anybody that's out there charging you five hundred dollars or three hundred dollars promising you they're gonna make you a successful trader I mean just run from that garbage right just run it is not going to work you have to be mentored and mentoring takes time and if you you get what you pay for in life okay so anyways this wasn't really meant to be a sales pitch as much as it was as much as it was meant to be a warning of what I'm gonna be doing in my day in my room and don't follow me is what I'm trying to say when I'm in this room and I'm calling out my day trades you know don't say okay I I, I wanna take the day trades and make money no 
I want you to go and look at the day trades and I want you to study the day trades and say, okay, why did Steve do that? Right? What was he what was going through his mind? What was he thinking at the time? What was the context that he was building at that time that helped him make that decision? Right? But if you try to follow me, you're going to probably lose money because my stops when I day trade are really tight. And by the time I actually do something like this, like by the time I type in like BAC long uh, 3475, watch how long this takes me to do, right? Stop uh, 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 34.25 target. Um, let's say 3576 look how long that took me to type it in like I, I, I type with two fingers right I'm a two finger guy and then I gotta go and I gotta execute the trade on my platform give me a fucking break right like I gotta execute the trade on my platform then I gotta come over to the room type it in and then tell you everything that I'm doing and then after I do that, I've got to give you updates as I'm monitoring and watching that trade, right? And in the news-driven markets, the markets move so fast that I can change my target and I can change my stop three times by the time I actually do anything. So me, the only way in the world that you could ever make any money following me as a day trader is by actually me dreaming my screen to you in real time and talking and even that you will still not be successful doing it i'll tell you why because i'll take trades and you won't you'll follow my good trades and you'll make some money then you'll follow my bad trades and you'll lose some money then i'll take another trade you won't take it because you were too slow to get to it you will lose money and i'll make money then i'll take another trade you won't you will follow that one and i'll lose money so trading rooms in general are just dog shit. I mean, they're, they're really a waste of time. But if you come from it, if you come to it with the context of learning from it after the fact, you will get some value out of it. OK, so I'm, I'm sharing that with you guys as a warning, right? Um, because as I day trade in this room, you need to know everything that I said in this video. And if you don't, um, and, you know, people come in this room and they follow me or whatever and they lose money and or they complain or they bitch. I don't want to be held responsible. OK, I'm uh, you know, I want you to understand the significance of the strengths and weaknesses of chat rooms and, you know, not to get caught up. Now, maybe if I take a trade and you guys see a trade and, you know, you can get in on a better price, maybe try that right maybe try that like let's say i get long at 70 34 75 and my stop is 50 cents away and you see it goes against me and you know bac goes down to 34 30 yeah, jump in why not i had 50 cents risk on that trade you have five cents risk on that trade hell yeah right do that i mean there's nothing wrong with that right but just be aware that following any trader it's just not going to work okay it's just it's just not gonna work so even with my coaching students what I do is I have them send me their trades during the day but I review them at night and I don't really care about you know the specifics what I want to see is making sure they're doing the right process so if you follow this room just look at the trades that I'm doing Go back in the evening, view those trades, maybe try some on your own and try to repeat the process on your own. Does that make sense to you? And then if you can repeat that process on your own and you like the results that you're getting, then, you know, maybe buy my algo and then see how that algo helps you. And then if you can, you know, then buy my $2,500 video coaching package. And if that works, and that starts making you a lot of money, then then invest in a $5,000 package. And I will credit you anything that you want. So if you buy this, I'll credit you for this. If you buy this, I'll credit you for that. So it's not going to, it's just going to cost you $5,000 at the end of the day, but this will help you leg into it. Okay. So uh, 
going forward, just to be clear, I'm going to be doing more short-term day trading because it's a news-driven market and you need to be aware of everything that I've said in this video if you're following me in this room. Okay, so hopefully I've taught you something about how to actually do some day trading and, you know, take it for what it's worth. And thank you. I love you all. Bye for now.